with recent developments, Twitter is on the verge of paying a $1 billion US fine to Elon Musk, and it would likely destroy the whole company. Furthermore, Elon Musk revealed how he is preparing for a trial to crush Twitter. Elon explained his strategy to expose everything that's been fake about Twitter, so this trial is going to be really special. With that, stunning details have been reported about what Elon Musk wanted, what Twitter wanted, and how the judge responded to their claims. This is a very interesting story, so let's explain it. Here is a very important legal implication that's very interesting. So, everyone was talking about how Elon Musk is at the risk of being fined a billion US dollars. But truth is, it's not only about Elon Musk. If one side is judged to be at fault for the deal failing, either Musk or Twitter would be entitled to a $1 billion breakup fee. So, can Twitter afford this fine? Well, as it seems, Twitter is ready to go all in. Twitter wants more and is asking the court to issue an order compelling Musk to carry out the agreement. Let's see what the courts have to say about all of this. The complaint is filed with the Court of Chancery, which was founded in 1792 and can be traced back to the High Court of Chancery at Great Britain, which in turn developed from an old organisation in feudal England known as the King's Chapel. The court acted as an alternative to the stricter and less effective common law courts and was ruled over by the Lord Chancellor in his capacity as Keeper of the King's Conscience. It had the power to grant relief in the form of restraining orders, estate administration, and, most significantly, specific performance, which can order a party to carry out a transaction against its will. More than 1 million businesses, including more than 60% of Fortune 500 companies, have their corporate headquarters in Delaware, which has a long-standing and carefully cultivated body of corporate case law dating back to 1899. Musk is in excellent hands because these judges have a lot of exposure to this stuff and are very knowledgeable about it. Musk is also familiar with the Court of Chancery. He won a lawsuit filed by shareholders earlier this year that accused him of having a conflict of interest in Tesla's acquisition of SolarCity, a failed manufacturer of solar panels, where Musk was the largest shareholder and board chairman. There are several situations where a judge could declare the buyer or seller to be in violation, and most of the time, the common legal penalty is a termination charge. Based on what we have seen so far, it seems that Twitter has the legal advantage. It's not clear at this point whether they will receive the breakup fee, though. If the court did order Musk to complete the transaction, it wouldn't be the first time. Elon Musk pledged to utilize his best efforts to complete the merger when he signed a legally binding merger agreement with Twitter in April 2022. The wealthiest man in the world has appeared to backtrack on his pledge in the following months and has finally settled on the problem of spam bots on the platform as a violation of the original agreement. William Savitz, the main attorney representing Twitter, pushed for a fast trial, claiming that the uncertainty surrounding the takeover is hurting the business. Musk has been and will continue to be legally required to make every attempt to complete this transaction, but Twitter officials claim that he's doing the exact opposite. So they are referring to it as sabotage, which is quite absurd because Musk doesn't really have a reason to sabotage Twitter. If you think he does, let us know in the comments below. Millions of Twitter shares trade every day under a cloud of Musk-generated uncertainty, according to Twitter's filing. The size and scope of public companies has never faced these challenges. Musk's team attempted to make the case that the trial should be scheduled for February 2023 and said that they are not opposed to expeditions or making a time request in this case. They are presenting a far more streamlined and practical schedule in its place. However, the Delaware Court of Chancery Chancellor, Kathleen St. Jude McCormack, decided in favor of Twitter, stating that the longer the delay, the higher the likelihood that Twitter would suffer irreparable loss. In an effort to move the matter forward, Twitter wanted a September trial date. Musk responded by asking for a February trial date. Musk claims that he is preparing for this trial as much as he can and he needs time. Elon has a genuine need for time to thoroughly investigate all of the fake accounts on Twitter. So, when trial comes, he will have everything ready to show everything that was wrong with this acquisition. He claimed that the business overstated the number of users it had in violation of the merger agreement, which led him to withdraw his decision to buy Twitter. Twitter, meanwhile, has referred to the fake accounts as a distraction and pushed for the trial to be held to the agreement to get underway as quickly as possible, claiming that delays harm the company's operations. In its court brief, it said that Musk had not given any guarantees that a trial would be finished in time for the judge, Kathleen McCormack, of the Delaware Court of Chancery, to set the deadline of five days. 
In its brief, Twitter stated that it was seeking this commitment because it believed Musk's goal was still to drag out the trial, make the court's expedition order impractical, and eventually avoid having his contractual duties decided. We haven't yet heard what Musk's lawyers have to say in response to that claim, but Musk is definitely being reasonable because, let's face it, who would want to buy something from a seller that isn't transparent about what they're selling? Musk has urged the judge in a letter to force Twitter to reveal what he refers to as core documents, which Twitter should deliver by August the 1st, and which must be provided to the court within 18 days after the judge's request. Musk said that Twitter had withheld all of the things in the data room, as well as manuals, regulations, and calculations pertaining to active daily user computations and artificial intelligence. Musk stated that Twitter was taking too long to reply to his requests for documents, but Twitter denied this. By refusing to respond to the company's lawsuit, which Twitter claimed would explain the concerns and any counterclaims Musk could make, Musk, according to Twitter, is the one delaying the process. That's it for today.